Something I love to do for recreation and exercise is ride bikes. And each of us in the family have a bike, but we happen to live in the top of a mountain where if I leave our house, I'm totally fine and I can go wherever I want, but coming back becomes quite the struggle. So I started searching around for electric bikes and I happened to find one on Amazon and it happens to be right here. This is the Metaku, a smarter and healthier travel mode. It's in a box. I'm hoping to take it out of there tonight assemble what little bit needs assembled and then uh, basically get it ready to go. Got a helper boy here who I don't think is gonna be helping much. He's actually out here putting down some sidewalk chalk in celebration of the American flag, United States flag. Actually, I kinda wanted to ride my bike. Oh, you're gonna ride your bike, okay. Oh, I also have another helper out here. She's not helping much either. Since Clark Man is mentioning bikes, this is our bike setup, which is gonna be moved shortly. Cody's bike. My bike, Clark's bike, and it's Mom's all kind of tucked in here. Floating. Yeah, it's it's hovering magically. Mm. Grab your helmet, wherever that is. Helmet on. You know what I say, safety third. No safety first. Okay, let's see if he remembers how to do this. Okay. With Crocs on too, like the legend he is. Ooh. Are you? <laughs> it's just like riding a bike. It'll come back to you, Clark man. There you go. There you go. Okay, he's good. Don't go out on the road, okay, buddy? All right, let's get back to my Medicu electric bike. This is actually kind of sweet. I know I'm just talking to a box, but uh, it's actually really nice because it's an option. You can pedal like Clark Man's doing. You can put in assist mode or full electric, which is amazing. At least I hope it's amazing. I watched and read a bunch of reviews on this and people were saying it's great. So uh, let's get into it here. I thought this is gonna be hard to open, but. Yeah, staples are pretty weak. And there's my bike. I wish I could just pull it out of here and ride it, but there's a little bit more to it than that. Wow. They did a heck of a nice job protecting this. It's all padded up with foam all around it. Got everything zip tied in here really nicely. That's good. Really good. We even got some more stuff in there too. This is probably the box of all the hardware. Here's what it's eventually gonna look like. Can anyone guess what this part is? One guess. If you guess seat, you guessed right. I believe that's my front tire. That's my pile. We're getting there. Ooh. an Allen wrench. There it is. Somewhat. My handlebars are down here. My front tires over here. My seats here. My parts put together over here. Seems doable. As I was looking through here, I felt like I was missing something and that reminded me inside the box here. I believe my battery is in here. That's going to be an important part of this. Yeah, that's like the most important part is the battery, which I think is a pretty heavy thing. And that's what goes right there. And so instead of having a water bottle, I'll have a battery and that's going to help me get up these crazy hills. And even though some of you are probably saying, well, Greg, couldn't you use some exercise? Wouldn't that be good to get up the hills? I'll have to show you some of these hills and you'll see them when we're out and about because I plan to take you with me on some bike travels, but yeah, it's going to be nice having a little bit of assistance making it up and I'm excited about this. I've always wanted one of these. I attempted to build one a few years ago and it was not a good idea. It's much better to buy one that's pre-assembled. Well, <laughs> I say pre-assembled loosely, but to have all the electronics and stuff ready to go already is I think a much smarter option, at least in my case. I'm not very mechanically sound or proficient, I should say, in bike building or the English language, apparently. I'll update you along the way, I suppose, as to how we're making out with this and maybe some snags that I ran into or just massive success when it's all done. We'll see. No, like, not like black. no, no, you can get this in white as well, I believe. I just thought the black looked really cool. Did they do it like blue? I didn't see a blue one, no. It was black or white, and I was like, black. 
We officially have handlebars. Very easy. Spun this stem around, put this on, bolted it down, and there it is. Next, we need these screws. We need this disc, and we need this wheel. What are you doing to my new bike? How dare you? Hey, now. That's where my seat's going to go. Okay, <laughs> even worse. I'm putting my disc on. Lots of distractions out here. Oh, okay. Now comes a little bit of a tricky part. I gotta put this through here. I'm gonna have to catch it on the other side there with another spring. I need another hand. Hey Clark, can you help me real quick, bud? Can you just hold the back end of this bike still for just a second? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you, buddy. I wouldn't be able to do this without you, man. And heck of a lot harder, that's for dang sure. Trying to get my front wheel on. I'll that turn like right there. I'm just gonna bring this up. Yeah, okay. All right. Front wheel's on, baby. Let's test it out and see if there's a brake. There is. We've got a brake, Clark, man. Glorious. Holy smokes. I turned um, that drawing into a big drawing. Very nice. It's a big person. Is that the Japanese flag? No, this? Yeah. No, that's a pizza box. Oh, okay. Where's the pizza? That says pizza. American flag in one hand, pizza in another. It makes sense. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah. It shows a bike crash going off a ramp. Okay, let's not talk about bike crashes. Um, uh, on my back. I'm building a bike that may crash eventually. Probably from being poorly uh, like, assembled, yeah, I would say. Things about bikes. The instructions weren't super clear on this step, but I put this rack here, and I'm hoping that was the right thing to do. They had it so you're putting your own bolts in, but they were already in there, so we'll just assume that that's right. Next, pedals. Gonna need these probably. Oh, they ship it in a box uh, to get it to you the best that they can. But if they shipped it the way it's completely built, it'd be very expensive to ship because of the size of it. And it could be more prone to getting damaged. I do, yeah. I get it like a sense of accomplishment if I put something together properly because I don't, I don't feel like I'm very good at this kind of stuff. It's when you have to rotate counterclockwise, which kind of goes against, goes against what you're thinking. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, trying to trick me on this one. It's counterclockwise. I was like, why isn't that going in there? We've got pedals. Okay. We got the kickstand on here. What the heck? I thought I'd have to install that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't use it the whole time. It's definitely a bike. All we have left to do is put our reflectors on. So we don't get smashed into by a car out there. Do you get to on electric bikes? Do they move by themselves? You can set it to move by itself. I can pedal it by myself. Mm -hmm. I can have it so the electric motor helps me. The motor is on the back here. That's what this thing is. Mm -hmm. Or I can set it so I just hit a throttle and it powers the bike for me. So it's like a three-in-one, basically. Just finished the reflector job, and I was just thinking that I'm probably just gonna end up taking these off and putting like an actual headlight on here, and maybe like a flashing tail light as well since I'll be on the road. But for now, I think that'll do. The only thing I have left now is the battery situation. So this is the charger. This of course is the battery, and their powers combined power my bike. Three hours to fully charge the battery. So it looks like we won't be testing the battery tonight. Kind of takes the thrill out of finishing your bike, but I suppose that could be like every other person that builds a bike that doesn't have a battery on it and run it as it is. Hello, <laughs> I'm getting pummeled here. Go ahead, bear. There we go. Oh, that is locked. On off button on this side, charger and port over here. Looks like you just spin that off. Cool. Pretty easy. I think we're ready for our maiden voyage. Got my cameraman here. We're gonna give this thing a shot. Ooh, the gearing.
Oh, I definitely hear the, the disc brakes. But yeah, what do you think, Horse Man? That's a great guy. It captured the whole thing. Thank you, buddy. You're a great cameraman. I appreciate that, man. Cool. Got a bike. Got to charge it up. I'm excited to take this thing out and about and take you on adventures with me in all the places I go. Mellow Cat's getting some love over here. And we got some music playing in the background. Thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I assembled a bike tonight. Oh. No cheering for you, Clark, man. Yeah, I hit it. Yeah, there, I'll turn right. <laughs>